Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Helion. I'm AC Gamer. This is Cypher Deck. And we are going to be going back into this... Uh, this game is right there with a the cross between survival and almost open world type of game. Like, what would be your best description of this game, Cypher? So, yeah, it's a open world sandbox space game. But definitely with a survival twist. Because it doesn't just throw you into a, a world that's very abundant and you can run around. Like, there's games that I've played where you gotta worry about oxygen and stuff, but you're on a planet. This one throws you into a broken down ship that is getting pummeled by asteroids and other things as it separates further and further apart from one another. And you don't know what you're doing when you first get in. There's no tutorial whatsoever. You said there was at one point a tutorial on this game that uh, you yeah. come into the game and it would give you a little bit of the basics. How much of the basics did it give you back then? Was it a lot or was it a very short tutorial? It was, it was more of here are the controls and that's it. Well, at least that's more than they're doing now. I would have loved to know what the controls were because you kind of had me had to give me a rundown of what they were. Go ahead for those that are kind of jumping into it brand new for themselves and don't have that tutorial tutorial available that you did at the very beginning. Let us know what some of the controls are. So the main action uh, is uh, F to open doors, things like that. You have tab to go into your inventory. Um, for some reason, it looks like you're floating. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. You have crouch, you have forward, back, left, right, uh, Q and E to rotate. Uh, shift is to slow yourself down and to grab because in space, whenever you're, uh, flying around, you, uh, you, of course there is nothing to push off of. So you have to try to stop yourself by physical services and uh, also with a jetpack, you can use shift also to slow yourself down. Yeah, the, the main purpose of the game right now is to get this repaired and also to get our ship docked and repaired. All right. Well, if, to that effect, we're going to follow Cypher. He's learned a few things about the game, so we're going to be picking his brain. Now, for those of you who are watching and seeing the lag on the screen no that is when you very for the very first time you load into the game that day it's going to be more laggy than anything else and it will clear up as time goes on some games are like that and some games aren't this one happens to be a little stronger on that aspect than any of the other games i've ever played so i'm hoping they fix that fairly soon because it is a little laggy today well apparently this is not showing the item that I was talking about in the previous uh, game. Oh, so you think like every single time you come in, there's a random factor of what you're going to find? Yes, except for on the ship that we're going to be going to in a little bit. All right, so you're good to go and everything? Okay, now you're walking around and running the way normal people should. All right, let me go ahead and put uh, my my visor down. Yep, same here. And woo. Okay. I'm holding on. Okay. Make sure you're holding, like, not there. <laughs> you're, like, in the pathway to be thrown. Well, I mean... Uh, hold all the way to your to your left. Kind of next to that grate there. That's what I'm on. I mean, I'm holding the shift button. Whether I'm actually holding it or not is another story. All right. Well, we're about to find out right now. Let's do it. There has to be another way once we fix this thing. You think? We've got to turn the uh, jetpack on. Yep. Now, so we're going slow over to A-M-A-C-M-E. Uh, H-E, I'm sorry. Now, am I coming with you and, on this one, or am I going to a different one? Yes, because I want to show you how this actually works this time. Because I believe that, you, I mean, you have to be very touchy and very slow. Like, the speed at which you come in to the to dock has to be at, like, 0.2 meters per second or feet per second or whatever it is rating it at. We got that pretty good that one time, actually. We, we were down to, like, less than a centimeter every, like, 30 seconds or something. But when it hit, it hit and then just bounced off very slowly. 
Uh, did a little yeah. bit of damage, but not as much as you would think if you were hitting it as like a good speed. You probably just break right through the ship. So, I think well, you had the, the speed down is, that time. We were doing it wrong, is what was happening. So, first off, whenever you, uh, whenever we get here and get uh, uh, get into this thing, do not touch your mouse. Leave, leave just let your mouse be. And uh, you're almost here. There you are. All right, press F on that. Oh, you want me to do it? Yes. Oh, man. But again, let go of your mouse whenever you do this. All right, not touching my mouse at all. Okay, and you are now within the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. You were looking for, um, on the right-hand side, you should see a list of everything that's in the vicinity. And you want to press your down. Say that again. You're you're breaking out. I want to press press the down button? The S button, right? No, no. The The down arrow. All right, down arrow. Yes. And what am I looking for? Until it highlights over um, outpost. On the outpost. Oh, that's what it was on to start with. Okay, so it's on the outpost. Do you see like a a blocky circle over a round circle? A blocky circle over? No, I don't. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I do that on okay, the A C A R G. Okay. Um. Here, look over for a second. Just the F button. Uh, escape. Press. Escape. All right, mm-hmm. I'm out. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, try it again. And then once you are selected on, press R. Okay, so I want outpost, right? And then press R. Yes, and it should... Uh, no, no, you want... Just press R. Just R. Yep, and okay. you should now see the sh- the ship. I do see the ship. Our outpost, and it has that weird blocky circle I was talking about. That's correct. Yep. Okay, you should also see in your upper right hand corner a- another set of circles with a little red dot. All right, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm guessing. That is exactly what you're aiming for. All right. Uh, this is why you don't want to use your mouse because this is really well aligned. And you should be able to start tap, tapping like in the direction. So if you need to go left, with the W S D key, just tap. Yep. Now it does say target module available ports on the bottom right hand corner, standard docking port B. I'm guessing if there's multiple ports, you can select the one you want. Uh, yes, but this is the this is the only one we have available right now. All right. So I want small movements. And. Small movements. I'm going to close this door uh, on the actual outpost so that it's a nice clean grab. It will allow me to stop. There we go. Now, when I do the W key, am I going up? Do you see me going up or do you just see me going forward? Uh, you should go forward. How do I go up? Uh, I'm sorry about that. It's a do- uh, it's space to go up, C to go down. And you should see, like, there's a bar at the bottom. And you should see the speed at which you're going. You don't want to go above point three. I just noticed that there, as you change directions and you start moving in a direction... You can yeah, see along the reticle. Red mark. Yeah, 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 and shows you that you're you still going up. You want to make sure up. that once you get to the point where you need to stop, that it's showing nothing, and it should stop going up or down. And once you get closer to it, you'll see that it's going to start moving a little bit more than it was whenever you were further away. Um, right, right, because you're closing so in. So when you get to the point um, when you're getting really close, I'm going to need you to stop it. So I need you to bring that bottom number to zero, and I need all reticles to be off of red. 
Okay. If that makes any sense. No, no, yeah, you want it as a dead stop. How close do you want because, me to get? What was the distance? Um, the, you should be able to see me here in a second. Oh, yeah. I'm, I want to say start nice slowing down now. Because I'm distance of 12.7 meters, and, yeah. I, and I'm only going point one. So like, okay. all I got to do is back it up one, and I think we're going to be dead, dead stop anyway, so... Okay, I go ahead and stop forward movement for now, and start um, st start stopping the sideward sideways and upward movements. Well, it's not just moving, for now. It's not moving up anymore, but it's still moving a little and bit to the like left. It looks like it stopped. Well, no, it's uh, okay. if it did, it's very very minute. It's still going a little bit to the left, and that's the way I want it because it's not completely lined up yet. It's still got a little bit more I, to go. I know, but, but here's the problem. You are uh, actually you should be fine. Uh, start moving forward. That reticle uh, need uh, that you've seen, like the little dot in the middle, that needs to be on the window of this of the ship. On the window, which window? I, I mean, you should see the. Um, uh, it's kind of getting dark. See the window that I'm running. I'm going in front of right now. That's not a window, it's a hatch, right? Well, the the window on the hatch is what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, okay, okay. You want on the center of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure this is closed before you get to it. And once you get to it, I mean, you're really well lined up. Come on, stop opening. I mean, I'm going slow enough for it. Like, this is the snail's pace movement. Less than uh, 0 0.1 yeah, meter, that's... like, every three seconds or something. I'm going to speed it up just a tiny bit, because we're, we're still six meters out, and I'm not really booking it that, that much. So, let's see. I might go down cool. a tad bit. A little bit to the right. Why in the world does that keep opening? Well, I think every time you get close to it, right? I'm all the way in the back. Must be clicking it too much. Or, or I don't know. All right, Might so click it again. Now, 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 what am I doing as I get closer? Because I am at uh, 4.3 meters. Just keep coming. Because uh, it will pull you in. Oh, I'm going to have to do some repairs here. Okay, so 3.9 meters. That. Am I hitting anything? Am I am I clicking anything? Or is it just going to automatically dock on its own? It'll automatically dock once you get close enough. Dude, this is kind of... Is it? Doesn't it? feel kind of like something that would really happen in space <laughs> yeah i mean you would definitely I mean, go as slow as humanly possible probably to make sure that you didn't cause damage but i am probably running out of uh, oxygen i am moving at less than 0. 0.0 so it's coming in about 0. 0.1 meter every you, you four seconds to, you go faster go faster i go at 0.1 or 0.2 and you'll be fine all right i'll go at 0.1 Because that's, that's, I mean, you're taking a long time. I, well, you said to go slow. Here it goes. There it is. Automatic docking procedure. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so do I just hit the escape Very to get nice. out? Uh, yes. I am going to start um, depressurizing. Now, is there anything up here I need to get? Because there is a RCS utility access. Oh. And on top of that, no. there's this little green thing. The resource injector. Should we I take that? No. Leave that up there? That has to stay up there. Oh, okay, because I've been stealing them off of every ship when I see them. What does that do? That's like one of the major uh, major systems. So this ship right here would not work without it. I mean, it's not good to... Why are you... Why do you keep opening? Uh, that's so aggravating. All right. Well, we've taken some damage out of here, apparently, it looks like. Has there? Yep, yeah, a little bit. All right, you should be able to come in now. All right, let me see if I can get around to the other side. 
since the doorway has now been sealed off over there. Still waste a lot of fuel moving around. I haven't gotten that trick down just yet. Come on. Hit the F button. There we go. So I need to pressurize? No. No? No, you need to depressurize. Uh, no. Once... Well, here, let me stop and depressurize. It was already depressurized, so I guess I should have opened the door then. Yeah. Alright, this is kind of annoying me, so I'm going to just come into here now. So it will... Once you get in... Whoa! What'd you do? I just opened that door... Which Stupid doors kept opening so they wouldn't actually. Oh, Are you it? in? Yeah, yeah, I'm pressurizing now. Wow, so you uh, you flooded both facilities of all the oxygen. Because both, I? yeah, guys, guess because both doors were open. Well, they wouldn't close. I mean, the thing is, it's stuck open for some reason. All right, I'm going to get out of there. I'm going to actually go to safety. Nice. All right, should be able to take my oxygen. Yep, there we go. Oxygen is off. Let's see what we got. We got an Did AC small resource container. Refresherize what? Do, um, never mind. Yeah, that's to refill your backpack, actually. Um, Should we take it or leave it here? Yeah, I, well, I'd leave. I'd take one. And I'll pick up the other whenever we go to the next thing. But we need to recharge our stuff. All right. Pressure is at 9. Air quality, 87. Uh, temperature is 28 Celsius. I guess that's okay. All right, you should be able to come in here now. The air tank is at 14%. There you are. Wait, 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 this leads out into the space? No. It looks like it's through this the This leads into the ship. All right, open it's because it the stupid I'm trying. That door needs to stop opening. That's causing all of our issues right now. Is it on manual override? Like, how do we... I have no clue how to stop open. it. Open. What, what is this? Oh, you're doing? killing me. You're killing me. How am I killing you? Beca uh, because you're pushing me into something. Uh, one second. Let me move this to here. Put that there. Is this thing broken? Can we fix this? Is it leaking air on purpose or what? Um, one second. Cause I gotta use this on, oh, the on tool, myself. Oh, the tool right up above us. You can fix the roof. Uh, That's, uh, one, what are you doing, dude? Uh, stop pushing me. Stop I'm, pushing me. You're pushing me, dude. You're killing me by by doing that. You're the one doing it Every to time. me, actually. I wasn't moving. I was just standing there. <laughs> yeah, it's the game glitching out then, but... Yeah, unfortunately, you only get one tool in this one, so if there's any damage, only one person no. can perform it. We'll get another tool here in a second. But we need to get this door situation fixed. I don't know what to do on that one, dude. This is the door is just uh, junky. All right, let's get our backpacks on here real quick. On this thing? Um. Well, on that too. Or on this thing? How's how's your power on it? Uh, if you hold your backpack in your hand. Right, it has 51% oxygen, 82% fuel, and 100% power. So I think I'm good on mine, actually. Maybe a little bit more oxygen if we can spare it, but other than that, I think I'm fine. Yep, we can. And nitrogen, we'll, might as well fill it up, too, because it doesn't take very much. It only takes three. 
All, All right. right. You. Oh, here, let me put mine on there if you want to fill it up because I don't. I haven't really messed around too much with that. Well, um, once you put it on there, uh, I can tell you how to do it. All right. So what do I need to do here? So uh, you see on the right hand side where it says oxygen and nitrogen. Mm-hmm. You drag the oxygen from the center to there, uh, to the right, and it will automatically fill up to the amount that that thing can hold. All right, to my jetpack. Yep. Uh, 4.9? Yep, sounds about right. So we now have 90 oxygen. Should I take the nitrogen out or put more nitrogen uh, in? Put more nitrogen into your uh, backpack. Now, you did say at some point we actually start taking stuff out of here. It creates uh, carbon monoxide or something, which we can... Remove or no? Um, in the jetpacks themselves, n- not that I know of. But we can start some, uh, whenever we get to the point where we can drill. Um, we should be able to. All right, get into here and put your helmet on. Well, you got to depressurize it first because I pressurized it. Yeah. Um, it's gonna take a minute. Yeah, no, no, we no, you don't want to depressurize it. We can walk right in here. Oh, can we? Yeah. But if you do, then when you open up that door, this whole place. No, will no, be... you need to close the door behind us now. Uh, let me get in there. You got it. Yep. All right. Now we well, the, okay. you still gotta want to depressurize because if you don't, the oxygen well, and all the pressure in this room is gonna go flying out that door. Right, we do want to do that, but we can come in here while it's pressurized. Oh, okay. Well, I see what you're saying. So we can we don't have to wait for it. Right, but now we now we're waiting for it to depressurize before we go out. And I'm trying to look for any kind of damage if you see any. Mm, not yet. So what are we going after next, man? What ship do we have on our agenda? Um, next, uh, we're going to dock the big ship, the ne- uh, the actual ship that we're going to be taking place. Okay, uh, open the door. Okay, and what's this one called? Uh, it is the, it's the AC something. Let me get out here, turn my jetpack on. Wow, the... And we're turning around. Or we should have... Oh, yeah, there it is. When you bump into somebody in this one, this is ridiculous, dude. They need to fix that. Did you take damage? I didn't take any damage, but it, like, knocks you around like you're getting hit by a giant uh, bounce, you know, trampoline castle or something. Yep. All right, so we're going, and you can use the up and down thing again. Go we're going down. to the A C A R G H E one. This is going to be. This is our actual ship that we're going to be flying. And you've taken it to some places before, or this is going to be like the first time you're really messing around with it? Uh, no, I've flown in it some, but I don't know how to warp yet. That's one of the main things that this thing does, and I have no clue how to uh, use it as of yet. And we can dock it, though, right? Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to do now is we're going to dock it. And the other ship, we can dock that one. So we can dock all these pieces to our space station. Well, all except for the very last ship, the derelict belt. That is where we just get resources. You really can't dock that. I right. can't fix it up, huh? Nope. Wow. Come on. Stop. What's up? <laughs> I'm telling myself to stop. Oh, because you're going too far? I was going too fast. All right. Are you here? Almost. Uh, oh, there's some damage out here that I need to resolve while well, I wait for you. And I'm, I'm right next to the hatch to get in. Man, when you're out of the sun, you can't see Jack. Yeah. Would be cool if they got things you can upgrade. 
see. I'm going to start depressurizing this. And um, if you want to look on the surface of the ship, let me know if you see any kind of damage. Also, L. This is actually where you're going to use a lot of your power is your headlight. All right, so where are we going up here? We're trying to get up to the top panel or are we trying to get inside the ship? Um, we're going to go inside the ship. I'm just waiting for it to depressurize. And now. Are you here? Mm -hmm. well, I'm trying to get in. I'm not very good with the controls. Are you? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, oh, okay, there you are. Okay. Uh, close the outer door. We're going to pressurize. Can you imagine having to do this in real life? Like you're, you but woke they up. They do as have a, to do this in real life. No, I just <laughs> meant like being in the situation where your ship in real life has actually been damaged. You're in space and you know like, oh, either I do this perfectly or I die. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd suck. I mean, just think um, how much call and everything goes into NASA's um, EVAs. I mean, you don't even go outside of the ship unless it's absolutely necessary. And here we're just <laughs> freelance going outside the ship like it's nothing. Yeah, this is actually a little nuts. Although very dangerous right. still. Where you got the door on your side? There you go. I can't see Jack in here. I might have to turn a flashlight on. Uh, you said F, right? You, you will, you, you will in a second. What's the power button? Um, you mean for the lights? Yeah. L. But once you get in here, we're turning the power on. Oh, okay, okay. Just uh, make sure you come down with your feet first. Can you come or down? Or fall other... on your face. Is it possible? Oh uh, no, no, he fixes himself. <laughs> After you fell. All right. So right here is the power. And I'm going to just tell it to, to turn um, everything on. It'll take a second because it's having to uh, get its solar panels working. Okay, air and everything is on in here. There we go. Nice. You need like All that right. ticking of the noise of the, like, the, the lights trying to tick on or something, you know? I'll check All it right. out. It's a gun, man. Yeah. You can actually take your helmet off now. Or you can uh, open your helmet. All right, and can What's you get on here? What's the gun for? Uh, because there, there's apparently things that you kill in this game. And one, one of them is actually on the map. So. Oh, is it? It's close to us? Uh, yeah, it, well, we have to take a warp, but... Uh, this is our storage area. You know those canisters we're able to pick up. Mm -hmm. This is you can actually put them on these shelves here. And one day when we have like more resources than we need and we don't know what to do with them all. Right. And we want to check all of these just to make sure there's nothing in them. Ooh, strawberries. Strawberries. Wait, what? <laughs> I want strawberries. All right. So this is, I'm guessing, the back of our ship where we can get out. Yes. Don't don't open that yet. Oh, dude, we want to open that right now. Have all this stuff fly out. <laughs> Here's um here's one of our oh uh, drills. Look at yeah, that thing. it's a AC drill. It's sixty-five p not... drilling system. Let's yep. go drill into okay. something, guys. Uh, there's a gun right oh, there. Oh, by the way, there's your welding. Nice. Yeah, your welding gun is there. You got uh, raw resource canister right there. If you want to pick that up. Oh uh, uh, yeah, just put it on the shelf. Oh, it doesn't have stuff inside. Uh, it does. But, I mean, we don't have anything in here that we can use it with yet. Oh. And we're going to have to, I mean, Fusion I'll just put reactor, it right here. Fusion reactor, deuterium tank, hydrogen tank, oxygen tank, nitrogen tank, and a nitro tank. Yeah, apparently you can refuel or something. I don't know what 
that's about or anything. I mean, we'll probably have hey, to I'm it lagging perfectly. <laughs> All right, come on, uh, back come on back in. Up. Uh, yep. It's nice and cozy in here, man. Throw a little, uh, <laughs> throw a little love seat or something, you know. Get the get nice comfort in here since we can change our ship up. Are you in here? Did you lag out? I think you just disappeared. On I, I am. I'm in here. All right, let's do it. Just oh, no, come no. in, close that door. I know that's the hard part. Is there we go. All right. I'm gonna do this one just because of the fact that it's a little bit harder. By the way, uh, Wick, what do you want to name the ship? Uh, whatever, man. You you explored I mean, we, it. You found it. I mean, we could come up with a name. Uh, I'm gonna claim the ship. Yeah, yeah. do uh, the serpents. I don't know, Serpent's Nest or something. Serpents. I'm going down. All right. <laughs> All right, fell down. Let's see what's in here. Uh, this is where the warp drive is. Oh, so I want to press like every button I get my hands on, huh? No, uh, absolutely not. Uh, actually, you want those to stay where they are. Warp I have no clue what this thing is for, though. The plants? This actual thing that looks like it's for a torpedo i bet you that's where you put like the power that charges these up because that's where they're all connected in there um we can check it out because um there's one over here usually there's one there you go go ahead and take that up see if you can put it in there let's see tab it is a it's gonna small be, resource container? Uh, no. It's going to be on your right, uh, the right side of the list. Standard warp core, yeah, warp cell, cell container. Yep. System warp cell. health is 30%. All right, let's see if we can stick this right. Nope. Water does not go down that hole. Uh, then just put it on the second thing. It said it had some points left. So, yep. Just go up, and it should pop you back on the thing. We must, we must have to wait until that's at zero. All right, system engines are offline. RCS All right, is I'll, on. I'm going to take control of this because... Do it, man. I'm, just reading, <laughs> I'm just reading the little uh, heads-up display over here on the left. Uh, fuel levels are 80 out of 1,000, so we're pretty low on fuel levels. Yeah. Um, I don't know what kind of fuel this thing uses, but we're going to have to figure it out. Um, I think it's rainbows and butterflies. So it's going to be pretty hard to find them up here in space. But So I do want to go over a few things. So if you look on the panel here, uh, by the way, you can right-click to zoom in. You'll see the first one is engine from uh, left to right. Mm -hmm. Second one is navigations. This is where you'll actually see the universe and uh, everything that's in it. The next one over, this is how we actually dock. The third one is lights of some sort, I think. The last one over here is in and I don't know what the FTL is. Wait, what's the uh, BCN one? Or the SCN? Uh, can you see what it says there? Yeah, yeah, you can. I can't see what it says. It says SCN uh, on that the SCN one? SCN is scan. Okay. So I'm going to do that real quick. And the FTL and is faster is than what? light travel. I hope so. Is it? Yeah, that's what it stands for. I hope so. <laughs> so that's probably why uh, you haven't anyway, figured that one out. Hit, yeah. Uh, anyway, the if you go into the nav, you're able to scan and see everything that's in the universe around us. But I'm going to go ahead and start working on docking real quick. Uh, do your thing, man. Let's see. Can I get in there um, at the same time? Oh, I can get in there at the same time. What? You're able to sit here at the time? Not, not sit there, but if I hit the F on the pad in front of us, I can actually see the... Um, oh, I think I might have moved it, too. <laughs> um, can, you <laughs> see, it. can you see the outpost in front of us? No. Outpost, right. hit the R, and it's not behind us either. 
But I did jump in here just a second ago, and I think I may have moved my mouse. So are you moving it now? I am... There it is. It's um, If you switch docking views, you should be able to see it on one of them. It's the R button to change. You see it? Well, our, uh, yes. That means I'm looking through the wrong docking view. Let me see here. Airlock port is what I'm actually looking at. Grapple. That's what you want, though, is the airlock docking port A, right? No. I want the grapple, I think. Airlock. Oh, no, you're right. They're both airlocks, though. Yeah, but, I mean, one's I, called the docking port. The other one's called the grapple. So if if you can see in front of us, then this is it's the wrong one because the, the area we went into in the lower area where that door that opens up is, that's the airlock. Um, docking port. That's, that's the where port you. They're showing you from right now. I think from the side. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Oh, we need the top one. Uh, well, if you're right on the grapple one, that means you're gonna have to turn to the left a little bit more. Because you can see the planet in both. The planet's on the right. Yeah, on it's one. actually telling me where. Um, let me do this. See where it's at now. Because I don't want to move until we actually... Well, you're moving right to... now. You're drifting further and further yeah, away I know. from it. Um, I think it's... Well, I mean, I think it's from your left. vision. From your view. I mean, it is... Actually, you know what? I don't know why I'm in here. We can just change over to um, regular flight. There we go. And just fly over to it. Can Think you we see were it? Not at the moment, but I will be in a second. Do you know which way it is? or? I think you were going the right way. Up a little bit more. Either way. Oh, I'm pointed at the derelict. You had it on the grapple before you went out of that view, so. Yeah, that was my bad. I can't see anything in this way. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to turn fast because it uses our RCS. Oh, you're moving fast, dude. Like, I think we're, what doing, do you mean? we're doing like a 360 here. Spinning around in circles. Well, yeah. I, I am I am turning it, but I'm not turning it. Or I'm not going forward fast, and we're getting hit by a storm at the moment. Oh yay, the sun! Oh great! That's oh how a... I love the. Do what? Uh, I hit the control panel to check through your view, and I'm looking out at the same thing you're looking at at. I don't see Jack uh, through this view at all, man. I don't know how you see anything this way. Well, there's a there's a thing that tells me exactly where it is. I have a, I have a map, like, in front of me. If you're going after the dare or the outpost, you're going in the opposite uh -oh. direction. Because are the you doing are something? I'm not doing because anything because you're changing my directions and everything. I'm not doing anything. I wasn't moving anything at all. But yeah, you're moving further and further away from the outpost. There we go. There it is. No, no, I, I, I have it. If you look straight through the window right now, should see the. You should see it right coming into our. Yeah, reticle. yeah, I do now. Yeah. I think that cost you a lot more fuel than if you just use the old way. No, because we're on the wrong side of it anyway. Yeah, what I'm saying, though, is you would have got on target with the other one a lot quicker because you were actually almost on target with it when you switched to this new view. Yeah, but we were too far away. When RCS, using the RCS that we're, or the direction that we were looking, we can't travel as fast as I am now. No, but it's more accurate. 
So I mean, it's accurate have, and looking at it, but right, I'm actually, but there's... You could use that view to, to get in on target and then just speed up on the other one. But that's, that's not how it works. This one seems more the, like by the seat of your pants kind of thing. Like, I'll just point it in a direction and see if I can get there. I mean, it's a cool view. I think it's just going to use more resources in the long run, especially later on. I think we'll use it more often if you're going through like an asteroid belt and you really want to be able to weave in and out of them, like you were saying. Yeah. Uh, I hate the sun or whenever I'm I have a white planet right behind the ship. All right. Come on. Stop. Stop being. <laughs> Stop oh, being the way and ship. If, um, just look at the ship. If you're lined up now, you could always switch back to that other view. That would get you those uh, pinpoint accuracy movements you're looking for. Yeah, I'm almost there. Just trying to get to where I'm not like 300 feet away from it. For some reason, the turning on this is messing up sometimes. Would have been nice though if they had sent us to a planet where we could just kind of land on it. Yeah. That way. I don't even know if you can land on planets. That's that's a thing. Maybe. I hope. I mean, I hope you can. Oh man, you're coming in fast, dude. I know. I know. All right, here we go. Oh my god, dude! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting it to where the docking port is. Is facing towards it, and I'm getting my. Why do you speed up so freaking fast? I don't know where you're connecting this thing, but I do not see the landing zone. Uh, you see that part that's jaunting out from the ship right there over on the left? Yeah, that's the side we that's just where added. We're, that's, yeah, that, that's where we're connecting. Where on the where on our ship is it connecting to? Because right now, looking at it, it looks like you're going to connect it on a roof. It is. That's okay. exactly where you connect it. I'm just trying to get to the point where I can actually see it from the roof. Are you looking through that uh, camera system to get there? Not yet. Well, I mean, that's going to give you the, the best view, just like the other one did. That was amazing that you didn't have to do that by eyesight. Yeah, I'm going to move it now to where I should be able to see it. And let's change over. Oh, this is... It's coming in in a weird angle. Wait, well, you're still moving. Oh, there you go. You're moving closer to it now. You getting there? All you got to do is go a little bit more to the left and it's slightly up, although I think you're going to get up regardless. But yeah, you're. I don't know how you would pivot this, this, the, the ship forward on the top and back on the bottom, which I guess is kind of what you need to do right there. See, that goes, that goes left and right, you know, as in a circle, but it doesn't pivot the ship forward or back. When we get down there, it'll all come into light. Uh, wrong direction. Because I don't know which way the actual nose is seen. It is But matter. I have to have, I have to have my up and down equal there's actually a line that goes left and right uh like along the top along your rotation i have to have that perfect before i even start moving the ship towards that that's just what i'm working on right now good thing we have 600 rcs fuel 
All right. Now we can start moving towards it. They're still at an angle, though. Oh, yeah. I can move that with my mouse. Oh, okay, I see. So you're going to change the direction you're looking at it and then just go left. Mm-hmm. And we need to stop. Should be able to press shift. It's stopping it. Stop. Stop. Or just stop hit turning. back. Just hit back. That's what I had to do. Well, you don't want to go that far, but it shows you the little red well, lines. No, the little red lines are beautiful, man. It shows you just like the oh, vortex. I know that, but when you're using the mouse, it doesn't show you anything like yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's why I don't use the mouse. Like you said, it's a little bit faster if you want to make like big broad stroke movements to use the mouse but if you're just trying to get like those pinpoint accuracy keys yeah but that's how i actually turn the ship itself is with the mouse they should have another way of doing that though you know this is a three-dimensional so. you know like you're going in like four to you know whatever it is but you know you got the up down left right axis and forwards and back you got to be able to move the top part of the ship or the left part of the ship independently of the other pieces to get them in there the way you want to it just doesn't really feel like that's flushed out as well as it could be especially for like a space sim you know like I, i've yeah. never played a game that really kind of pushed you to make it as realistic as possible but this one definitely seems like it upped the notch maybe more for the survival aspect of it to make it a little bit more difficult for you but yeah, yeah, like everything here has been painfully slow, just like it is in real life when it comes to space. If any of you guys have ever watched like the NASA channel when they're docking, you Take can some six hours. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you could put that show on and leave, come back, uh, you know, go to work, come home. And it's still the same picture. They've moved like two inches. And I can't really blame them because if they move faster than that, there's always a tendency that they could go through the hall and then everybody dies. So, yeah, let's take six hours to go an inch, you know, but it's not it's not really that oh. enjoyable for video games unless you give the people that sense of excitement and this one kind of is doing it a little bit once you learn the aspects once the, the tutorial uh is go ahead I want you to do something for me what's that all right i'm wearing to stop and i need you to go out uh through the top the way we ended up coming in mm-hmm and i need you to um repressurize the other door that's, so it, I need it you won't to, work uh, unless it's repressurized. Uh, uh, we want doors to be on the same pressure thing. So if this one's pressurized, we want that one to be pressurized. And that way, we're able to do. We can walk between them without having to deal with pressurizing each individually. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going up the elevator, right? Um. Actually, I can get out because the ship is stopped, or could have. Well, I'd let you stay in there, man. I'm, the door. I'm going up the elevator. Nope. The elevator only goes down, apparently. Uh, not the elevator. from the elevator. Or the stairs that you have to go up. The ladder? Yep. Once you get in there, make sure the bottom door is closed. And repressurize. Uh oh, something just happened inside here. What was that? I have no idea. It was in there with you. That was weird. I could actually see myself. Oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> I saw you. Make sure. Yeah, don't have to repressurize that that room to get back. Once you get back. Make sure to pressurize this the room in the ship as well. So both of these. Yeah. I do like how the noise kind of dwindles down. The less air that's in the room, the less uh, the sound can travel through it. It's kind of a yeah. nice little touch for it. Oh my goodness. This is really making me mad. I can't... This, uh, I think it's because of my lag. 
but if I move at all, it just like goes way beyond what it should be. There you are. All right, pressure rising. Let's see, where's the ship? It's right behind you. Yeah. You're not too far away from it. You're a little over on like the left. Or maybe it could be the yeah, right, depending I on how you're I just it. I just noticed that the door was open and it that means it's not pressurized. And again, you're doing this because it won't dock otherwise. Um, I'm doing it because I want that pressurized and this pressurized. Uh, no, well, I guess you could do it that way, but I want you to be outside of the ship and in this one, but I no. You want me outside the ship? Yeah, if you come out of there, you should be able to pressurize from the outside. Pressure resin. Now, what do you want me to do out here? Uh, once you pressure, uh, once you start the pressurization, just come back over to this ship and press, uh, get in, pressurize, and then that's it. Well, that one's already pressurized. So, if you want to just bring it in, uh, that's pressurized. Uh -huh. Is this one pressurized? Yeah, they're both pressurized. That's why I was going to stay on the one on the inside, so I didn't use any extra oxygen out here. It does look like you took some damage oh, over here, so let me go ahead and check out my gun. And how yeah, do you... I should be sh now. You what? I should be sh now. Um, make sure you get those repairs done fast, because I'm, once this docks, it's going to push itself into the other ship. Now, when this ship is docked, how exactly do we get in if we're on the outside? I'll show you. Um, okay, it's, it is, are you still repairing? I'm I took right. away because, because this is about to dock. I'm not touching it, so you're fine. Okay. There it goes. All right. And from the chair, I'll come open. If you get to the front of this ship of that I'm in, uh, just meet me at the front hatch. Looks like there's a window down here. Close that door. <laughs> the other side ups. What's that? Oh. <laughs> I see you through the window. Oh, is that you down there? I was like, what is that? It looks like a window, but yeah. yeah good, it, um, you need to be on the other side, so I'm going to start pressurizing. Here in a second. Or depressurizing. All right, I guess I'm on the wrong side again. I'm, I see the uh, the main share. Um, you need to be in the back of the ship. That's where I just was. Yeah, you know, uh, there's going to be a hatch. That the opening in a second takes uh it's at five at, at the moment well i have oxygen and have fuel so we should should we go to the next uh, little outpost over there the derelict bet and bring it in or no well that that we don't bring in that's just a derelict that we can get resources
All right, so I've flown around this entire thing, and I don't see any hatches. It's going to open up. That's like the slowest Just waiting for a moment to catch up. There it goes. Where are you at? I have no idea. <laughs> I float around this thing like 15 times. I have no idea where I'm at anymore. It's There's the front of the ship, actually. I, I understand I, that, I but I, I, went, I went to the front, and then you told me to go to the back. I went to the back. You told me to go to the front, so now I'm uh, floating around the whole space station. Is that you? Look around. Look me. Uh, look in the the direction where you see me. <laughs> yeah, I don't see you. Turn a little bit more. You don't see me now. Mm, I see the planet. Okay. Look. Oh, um, look towards the front of the ship. That's you're you're right next to the name of the ship. Come. All right. You see me now. Oh, there you are. All right, here's the hatch. Yeah, I should have just gone in through the... Uh, <laughs> you fell down. Through the regular area when we had the chance. All right, uh, you well, you can't go up there now. Yeah, well, that's not it. Let's go ahead and go to that other ship you were talking about. The derelict. I still have a good amount of oxygen and fuel. What the crap I come inside for? And oh, here, you to remember this right here. You what? That see that right there? What about it exposed it? right where I'm standing? Right over here. It's exposed metal. No. Turn around. See me? Yeah. Right there along the wall where I'm facing. Yeah, that. Oh, Are you out too? Yep. Okay, we'll just have to um, get fuel later, I guess. All right. Let's uh, head on to Derelict. Where is it, anyways? It's um, above. If you highlight it, you get an arrow like on that little line at uh, where it oh, okay. says like they're open and everything. Let's find not... a servo and a canister here. That's not too and far. And ammo. It's only like three seven hundred. <laughs> seven hundred bees. Uh, you're going pretty fast, dude. I know. I'm going seventeen meters a second. Remember, you gotta save enough fuel for the way back. Well, I'm not using any fuel right now. It's gonna hurt. Okay, I have now gone way past it, I feel. Yep, I just went past it. I'm now using a lot of jetpack fuel. Wow, that took a long time for me to stop. Mm. 17 meters a second is pretty fast. Yep. Mm. I don't know. There's debris going through space. I can see the ship actually getting hit. It's actually lighting up whenever it gets hit, I guess. Or the actual lights on it. Hey, coming in. Oh, right. I've okay, died from it. an impact, dude. Did you? Yeah. Um. All right. Well, my body's floating around out there. I died from an impact. Well, that sucks. If it does suck. Um, is it starting you back at the ship, uh, the outpost? I hope so. I mean, it looks like I'm starting inside the little, 
little uh, life chamber where it like bursts me out. All the little fluids going all over the ground and everything like that. It's all, it's all <laughs> disgusting. Let's hope there's oxygen in here since I lost my suit. That's pretty lame though. If you can die out there just getting hit like that. It kind of tells me that they don't want you floating around. Unprotected. They want you inside the ship. The ship that we just yeah. brought over, we could have yeah, taken that's... over there. How long it took me to knock that thing though? <laughs> okay. Ooh, I found something. What? The heck? I'm hearing you open doors over there. Oh, are you? Yeah. Found some ammo. Yeah, but we lost a gun. What? The one I had you on had me? the gun on you? Why wouldn't I have it on me? Not the gun gun, but like the healing or whatever repair gun. Yeah. Um, That's why it's kind of silly, you know? Like, if you can get killed in one shot just by getting hit by a piece of asteroid, then they definitely don't want you out there. And if you do die out there, they want you to make sure that your corpse is going to be very, very close by. Um, Mine's floating through space right now at like six meters a second, so. What direction were you heading? Towards it. Oh, there you could be anywhere. I know. That's what I said. So it's gone. So I guess they don't want you to do it that way. They want you to do it inside of a ship. And then when you get out of that ship, you're kind of grasp, grasped onto like the outer edge the, of the hull. So if you do float away, it's going to be a very minute distance. It's not really going to make that big of a difference. You'll be able to find it. Yeah. All right. I'm on my way back to you. That is crazy. I thought you meant you took the gun gun, like the the one no, in the no, like, uh, vehicle. I, I like to try that one out at some point, but no, I didn't didn't uh, bother taking that one just yet. Because I know how easy yeah. you can die in this game, so. You definitely know now. <laughs> well, I knew before, it's, it's not That's... an easy game for sure, and when you die, you just lose everything. So it, it doesn't really, I don't think it's going to hurt you too much in the end. Once you start being able to make your own stuff and you start to be able to refill your own uh, canisters and things of that sort. But at the very beginning, when you have nothing and then you die, which is probably the time you're going to die the most often, right? I mean, the, the beginning, you have nothing. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, chances of you dying are greater than probably later on once you have a, a hang of the game. And then you lose I bet everything. We don't go out. I bet we don't go out into space whenever there's a hazardous situation going on anymore yeah well i mean it's it's also one of those things like it doesn't give you a lot of warning basically hazardous situation get inside right now and hope you don't get hit on the way yep but good luck because it's not easy to kind of jump into into an airlock if you're not close to one which again kind of promotes the idea that they want you to have a ship nearby pretty much at all times yeah i uh i ended up getting Resources. Oh, yeah, so oh, grab something. Please grab. Uh oh, grab a thing. Uh oh, what the heck? That was weird. And <laughs> luckily, I didn't die though. Why did you get hit by something? No, I was. Uh, I was coming in towards the ship. And I was trying to slow down, and it pushed me through the ship and the outpost. Oh, that's weird. Can I not open that? It's pressurized in there. It won't let me open the airlock to the ship for some reason. 
All right, give me a second. I'm about to get into the ship. Maybe I gotta put my heads up display on. No. Um, let's get this closed. You gotta close this one behind me. All right, come on. It's weird. It's not letting it do anything. There's a difference in pressure on your side. Let's, yep. Let's go ahead and depressurize this then. Yeah, I can't even. Can't even close this, the airlock down here. It says it on there too. It says uh, pressure hazard, which I wasn't paying attention to. Um, okay, man. I need to check on something. All right, so the door is able to be open now. Can't open that one though. Let's just go ahead and depressurize this then. Hmm, it won't depressurize all the way, that's weird. That's strange. It's like it's bugged out. I almost don't want to do it until Cypher gets back and I can ask him, but this uh, this could be a bad, bad idea, but let's try it. Let's go ahead and close this door. At least that will be closed. Should be able to take my helmet off. And we're going to go ahead and close the door. Let's go ahead and take a, uh, a look around on the flight chair, guys. All right. All right, so one of the oh. airlocks was stuck at like 0. 0.6. Very strange kind of thing. 
Yeah, I see that the uh, the door is actually closed down here now. I had to I had to force it open, which then sealed it off a little bit. I don't know. It's it's very wacky. So uh, the door is closed, but now there it won't be pressurized. Are you in the ship? I am in the ship. You need me to get over there? Um, okay, there it goes. It's pressurizing now. No, I just want to make sure that I was able to pressurize. So I'm going to pressurize it. Acting weird. So there's different places in the system. That we can go to. There's even an automated, an automated uh, refinery. Oh wow, that found a lot of stuff. Asteroid belt, asteroid belt. I did a scan of the area. Have you done that before? Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I found a giant asteroid belt, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. I I have done the scan. Problem is, is getting to it. All right. Wait a minute. Can I take my helmet off now? So FTL maneuvers warp one. It's going to use cell selected to zero at a three warp distance, 39,565 kilometers. Power consumption is going to be 150,000. Um, automated refinery. Should we go to one of those first, or do you think we should go to like an asteroid belt if we get it to actually work? Well, you don't want to do that with everything attached to. We don't want to be attached to our outpost. <laughs> we. Um, all right, one second here. I can't do anything. I can't even take my helmet off. I can't press H to lift the thing or anything. C A R G. All right, let me get out of this real quick and go over there and see if I can help you out. Are you able to come down the elevator? That may resolve a lot of the issues. You want me to go down the elevator? Mm hmm. With my helmet on or no? That, that, that's happening. Was that nice? You what? There we go. Okay, I'm going down. Okay. Mm, okay, so pressurized is not pressurized in there. Let me go ahead and lower it in here. Depressurize. We must have taken some hits, dude. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I don't understand what the whole... Because screen, you're depressurizing it. I am depressurizing it. Because your side's not pressurized. Um, now my helmet works and I'm dying. Alright, outer door is open. I'm dead. Well, at least you there's died. There's no air in here. No, no, there's definitely no air in here. That's why you should have, uh, you know. Well, it had air until you... <laughs> Until you uh, depressurized it. It didn't, not on mine. That's why the door wouldn't open. But now it doesn't have there. What I'm saying, though, is there's a bug obviously going around. And whatever the bug yeah. is says that it has, you know, whatever, but it doesn't. And the only way to fix it is to tell it to go one way or the other. All right. Well, we got to pressurize the whole ship. And get it to work because if we can't, we can't do anything. I especially uh, get my stuff back. I got all your stuff. I'm gonna bring it to you. But how do you throw something down on the ground? Let um, me just put it outside of the circle. Yeah, it wouldn't let me actually use the uh, control panel. 
But yeah, on my screen, it was showing that your side was decompressed. Obviously, it wasn't, but that's what it's saying. It also says that between this ship and the rest of the space station. And I actually got it to go up to point seven, I believe, on the pressurizing score, but it wouldn't go past that on one of the hatches. So I had to force it open, and therefore the air, uh, you know, pressurized equally between the two, but it's it was a weird, weird little bug. Huh. Yeah, it's taking a while for me to even get in now. Let me put your stuff down. Your helmet. I got your gun. I got a lot of stuff. Got ammo and everything. You can actually go to the to the outpost and put those all that ammo and everything inside of the ammo boxes like under the rack where the suits go. Or you can do that in the ship itself where the um, the rifle is sitting. Yes, let me go ahead and close the door over here because now it shows the other ship is once again not pressurized. Yeah, there's... And so for some reason it's not out let me back into that door. I try to connect. Yeah, it gets point stuck at point seven again. Huh. We may wanna change servers or I don't know. Well no, I mean I wanna try that faster than light travel before we switch over to another game. I think I got how to do it real quick. Just wait and drop this stuff yeah. off and then we'll go back into the ship. I mean, I can't even get back into the game. Oh, you can't? Mm-mm. Hmm. Well, in that case, let me see if... Uh... I mean, I can get everything redocked and back in pretty fast. Well, then, I guess while you're doing that, let me... Oh, that's why. What? Uh, all the servers just reset. Or at least that's what we're doing. I'm going to try to reconnect again. Well, if it doesn't let you, I am going to take the ship out. Since we're going to start over anyways. <laughs> Alright. Now, do I have to undock this thing first? Yes, you have to undock it from the outpost itself. So you have to be inside the outpost. There's a uh, little docking thing on the right hand or the left hand side. Wait, 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 you I, have I, to release it, and then you'll, you'll see the ship float away from it. I gotta be inside the get out. I gotta be inside the uh, the space station. Mm -hmm. Not inside the ship. Nope. There has to be an undocking thing on the ship itself, right? There is, but you have to undock from... Um, I, I've tried undocking using it, and it doesn't seem to work for some reason. And it's like right there at the, the console. How do you know you're not undocked when you look through it? Because it should you should see yourself start to move away from the, the ship. Yeah, it's not let me back in. All right, Let's get out of the chair, dude. How do you get out of your chair? Um, a tab. Apparently, escape works as well.
open that door. Pressure on that end. I don't care. Do you open it? So I'm stuck in here because it won't let me. Oh my god. That is just ridiculous. We got this whole way and we can't even get anywhere now because it's it's bugging out. I think it was because the um the front was open on the uh on the ship when um when you pressure or depressurize the ship it's the top portion of the ship. I don't think both portions of the ship can be uh I don't know. <laughs> it's my only theory as to why why that would be a thing. Other than the game being broken. Other than the game so being broken. So many ways. Oh man, I really want to take this thing out for a spin. We almost did it too. Let's get back in there. I'm gonna see if I can force it. All right. All right. So there's our navigation. Our goal is to get here, which is uh, where are we? Oh, did you? Is this where we're at? I think this is where we're at. What's that? Did you refuel the engines on the ship? Uh, no, I haven't done anything to the ship. Why, did I have a, a canister on me? Because I think it's saying I need more fuel to get there. Yeah, um, it's because um, you. I think you have to get back on the outpost and you'll be able to see <clears throat> everything that's attached to the outpost and you need to select the ship. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually, but for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.